Good morning children. Welcome to Moral Science class. Do you like dogs? Yes, I like dogs. Do you like cats? So do you like animals children? Yes. Okay, so we are going to study about how to be kindness, how to show kindness to animals in the seventh chapter, the frog. So all of you please take your books and listen. There were four children playing in the garden. Do you know who are they? Nikhil, Rajiv, Rajesh and Rohit. It had rained heavily in the night, so the grass was wet. They were playing hide and seek. Nigil was hiding behind a tree. Suddenly, he heard the sound of a frog croaking. The frog was hiding in the bushes. When the frog saw Nigil, it leapt to the other side of the bush. Nigil forgot that they were playing hide and seek. He yelled, Hey Rajiv, come and see what I have found. Rajiv came running. What is it? He asked. Look, look under the bushes. It is a frog. What's so great about a frog? Rajiv said. We have lots of frogs here. Yes, but we have lots of fun with them, Nikhil said. What do you mean? Rajiv asked. By now, the other friends, Rajesh and Rohit, also joined them. Why are you wasting time looking at that frog? They asked. Come on, let's continue our game. Nikhil said, we will play a new game now. Hide and seek is for babies. We will do a different game. We will play a different game. We will catch four frogs and race them against one another. Suddenly, Rohit shouted, no. I don't want to catch frogs. Besides, how do you intend to make them race against each other? Nikhil said, We will tie a string around their legs and let them jump. The frog that jumps the farthest will be the winner. Hearing this, the friends left Nikhil. They don't want to catch that poor frog and play such a stupid game. But Nikhil did not give up. Nikhil caught a frog and tied a string around it. He was alone. It didn't seem so much fun to play with the frog all by himself. But out of the corner of his eye, he saw his friend standing at the gate watching him. He couldn't let them know that he was not having much fun. So with a whoop of joy, he began to prod the frog with a stick. The poor frog jumped in fright. Yes, prince, jump, Nigel cried. Jump higher, higher, and continued to pocket with the stick. Nigel ran out of the gate with the frog. In his excitement, he did not see Miss Chandal. Do you know who is Miss Chandal? Miss Chandal was Nigel's neighbor. She didn't like children, especially noisy children. Nikhil yelled at the top of his voice, trying to impress upon his friends that he was having a lot of fun. 
Rajesh Rohit said urgently he hasn't seen Miss Chandal she'll surely box his ears today should we warn him we should replied Rajesh and Raju together after all he is our friend so they whispered shh, shh, shh. nikhil hey nikhil but what about nikhil he did not hear miss chandal had come out of the gate after hearing nikhil's blood curdling yells she caught him by the ear well young man what have we here she asked him ah i see you have caught a frog and now you are imagining it is a horse she said quietly too quietly she said nothing more she took the frog away from him rajesh rohit and rajiv noticed that she handled it very gently and took it inside her house nikhil was quite pleased with himself not only had he shown his friends how much fun frog catching could be he or had also escaped a shouting from the dreaded miss chandal the next evening nikhil was kicking a stone along as he came back from school when he reached near his house he saw miss chandal getting into a three wheeler she was carrying a brown shoe box under her arm nikhil said to himself i wonder where she is going she never ever goes out must be something important while he was looking at miss chandal he did not notice the banana peel lying on the road scared down he fell his right leg bent under him wow wow he yelled his leg hurt him he screamed and shouted so loudly that his mother who had been waiting for him in the veranda of their house heard him and came running out bola bola she called come and get nikhil he has fallen down i think he has broken his leg she added poor nikhil he felt as if his leg was on fire nikhil's mother took him to the doctor the doctor took an x-ray and then plastered his leg he also gave him some medicine which soon made him feel better nikhil couldn't go to school the next day in the afternoon his mother held him by his hand and gently led him to the edge of the garden so he could watch his friends coming back from school just then miss chandal saw him so you have broken your leg nikhil she said did it hurt a lot when you fell down she asked is it very uncomfortable now she continued nigil nodded with tears in his eyes miss chandal looked at him for a moment and then said wait here for a moment she went inside and came back with a brown shoe box under her arm she opened it and showed nigil the frog inside it it had a bandage on its leg too see you broke this poor frog's leg maybe that is why you fell down and broke yours too she said i am sorry nigil sha stuttered i didn't mean to hurt it i was only playing hum next time make sure that you don't hurt others when you are only playing miss chandal said sternly and stalked off nigil was always careful after that I am told he never tried to catch a frog again. Did you like the story children? Yes. What did you learn from the story? You have to be kind to animals. Isn't it? The man and the cat. One day an old man was walking by the road. Suddenly he saw a cat stuck inside a hole. The cat was very scared and was trying to come out of the hole. So the old man put his hand forward to help the cat. The cat got very scared and out of fear she scratched the old man's hand. The old man pulled his hand back out of pain. But the old man did not give up. He kept on helping the cat but the cat kept on scratching his hand Another man was passing by and he saw all this He told the old man 
Why are you trying to help the cat when she is hurting you again and again? On this, the old man said, I am doing my work and the cat is doing hers. My work is to help the cat and the cat's work is to protect herself. The old man did not give up. He kept on helping the cat again and again. And finally, the cat came out of the hole and she was very happy. The moral of the story is, sometimes we might face difficulties while helping others, but we must help them. So children, learn to be kind to everyone. Do not hurt others with your deeds. Thank you children.